<laughs> Number one is um, just the fact that if a, if the average American woman, which which we do, wants to have two children, then she will spend about five years of her reproductive life um, either trying to get pregnant, pregnant, or breastfeeding, where she's not you know at risk of an unintended pregnancy. So, so an average American woman will spend about five years um, uh, not fertile and thirty years fertile. So the challenge is to enjoy those 30 years without having unintended pregnancies. Um, that's the U.S. context. Globally, um, I think that a major challenge I would cite is that population is a very serious issue. It's also about sex. So people are afraid to talk about it um, because of um, this, uh, you know, population bomb that came out um, a, a long time ago, and not all of the predictions therein were proven true. People don't see it as still an issue, but the population explosion is still real. The global population is growing by over 80 million people a year. That's like adding a new Germany every year, and um, and we know what to do to to slow that. Um, so, uh, but because of the issue of sex, and because of this either fear of talking about um, population, there's just not a lot of visibility around the issue. And a lack of visibility also means a lack of funding. So less than one, about 1% 1 of overseas development assistance is going for family planning. It's incredible how challenging it is to talk about population. And I think that there has been a historical way that that's been done that has been really detrimental to sustainability overall, because it's come from a pretty unfortunate place in, in many cases. So I'm, I'm really glad that the work that you're doing um, and the work that Project Drawdown has done has been so focused on women and girls and empowerment and education. Because I think that that's a huge aspect of how to talk about this and in a really empowering way rather than some of the unsavory ways that it's been talked about in the past. Yeah, and but I will say that while there have been some really terrible coercive family planning policies and programs, there are a lot more examples of voluntary family, poli voluntary family planning policies and programs that have been effective. Mm -hmm.